What's up, everybody? This is Peter again for Sports Hot Rumors and Debates. How are you guys? You know, I, I want to talk about one of the best pitchers in... Well, not he's no longer in MLB right now, and that's kind of the point of this video. But I want to talk about one of the best pitchers who I wish the Diamondbacks sign, or in fact, if they don't, at least some MLB team, because what's happening to this guy is not fair. And it's kind of all over the world what's going on like this. So Trevor Bauer is definitely definitely one of the best pitchers right we know so for you diamondback fans like me die hard so we know when he started out with us the guy was definitely a little off you know with his beliefs and he believed his own thing he was definitely you know he had his own attitude regardless of his personal things he still was a really good pitcher the dave stewart horrible gm that he is you know we traded we traded bauer and it was just you knew that he was eventually going to be really good. And he turned out to do really well, right? He was on Cleveland, and he did start doing good. And he just, you could see the talent just getting more and more and more with, with as he started to pitch better and better. So he started coming into his own. Now you, you get into this thing where a woman accuses this man. And obviously, he can, if it was true, he deserved to be in jail for a long time and everything. But it's not, right? It comes out to be, and this is all over the world, that if a woman gives you an accusation, it's automatically, you know, you're, you're guilty before proven guilty, right? Everything's over, you're suspended, all these things happen. The fact that, that let alone that's already a piece of crappy, a uh, horrible thing to do, but the fact that now it's come out that he's not guilty and she was lying and all this stuff, there should be a huge apology. MLB should be completely, completely open and talking good things about him and apologizing and saying you know what we're glad that he, you know it didn't happen and we would welcome back with you know open arms but no it just seems like they they have something against this guy and i want to know why and now other mlb teams are shying away from him they don't want to do anything they don't want to sign him and i just for the life of me can't understand why are you worried that there's going to be like you know bad media what, what what can what is happening here if you clearly see you see him on his social media he's fine you see when he went to Japan that he's clearly still uh not maybe he not maybe he's not an ace right because it's been a while but he still has ace caliber stuff and if you sign him and he would be glad glad to sign just being in the back end of the rotation just to prove that he can you know do it again so somebody can sign this man and get a complete steal if they wanted to, but I, 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 nobody does. And I need to understand why nobody's signing him. What is happening here? Is there something that we don't know? Why is the MLB doing it? It's not right. He should sign, he should have a complete lawsuit against the MLB. It, it's crazy to me to think that this guy gets accused, his life could be ruined, he could be in prison, everybody thinks of him, and just, she comes out and lies, and then it's fine, it's fine, oh, oh, I'm sorry, you know, we didn't know, it's the same thing with Johnny Depp, she lied, you know, and what, what is happening to these people, you know, if it's the other way around, do you know how bad the man would be, his life is ruined, and for somebody who me, you know, I've been through situations before with my friends and everything to see, you know, and to just see how if somebody's life can be ruined just by the simple, the simple allegation of, you know, you did this or you didn't do that. And I've watched my friends go down and down. I've watched them go to court. I've watched all these things happen to somebody. Men are treated like complete crap. You know, men are treated like, you know, there's a certain standard. And if a woman says it's something, it's true. And if it's not true, oh, all right, well, you're lucky. You know, that's it. There's no, like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. Oh, my God, I ruined your life. You know, an allegation is exactly what it is. So there's a saying, right, that I used to, I live by. It takes years and years to build up trust. But all it takes is one little suspicion to break it. And, and, and that's what happened here, right? It's a little suspicion. They, they completely jumped the gun. They found out that they made the mistake. It was a horrible mistake found that she lied nothing not a single apology not a single thing welcoming welcoming him back not saying hey trevor you know you're not you know we apologize come back up you know we want we'd love to see you in the mlb you're one of the great talents he's extremely smart guy he knows what he's doing he is a fantastic pitcher it, it, it's a joke to me how they did that and you know things have let let alone baseball 
Something has to change in life for these people who completely do false allegations because it's, it, there's no way men should be held to a standard like this. You know, it, it, it's not right. All women, and it has nothing to do with just hitting. I'm just talking about, you know, just women saying stuff. Even when, when I have my ex-girlfriend or anything, a girl can just say, you know what, he's a bad person, he cheats, he does this, or he does that, and people are gonna believe them. You know, it's immediately you're gonna believe the woman. And you have no idea, oh, men are scum, men are evil, fathers suck. You know, it, it's a terrible thing. And that's how women start, you know, women start lying to everybody, and men are really screwed when it comes to this. And the way we change it is, you know, we can't react. Right, the, the government, the MLB, whatever it is, is not supposed to react until you get proof. Like this thing with Josh Giddy, I don't know what's going on, but you can't suspend him. You can't do it until you prove it. Now, if you prove it, if he's a bad person, if he did do something, fine, goodbye. Okay, that's it. But you know, you, this, this, this thing of ruining, this is people's lives. People have a short life. You know, in MLB, you have an even shorter life when it comes to that. You only have so many years of being a good pitcher or a good hitter. You're taking something away from this. You took away something from this man that he can never get back, right? It's not, he took away his life. He had to uproot his whole life because you lied. And he's still paying for it despite being not, not guilty. It's crazy to me. And MLB, again, they should be ashamed. The same way the NFL should be ashamed after Tariq Hill, you know, took a picture with that, gave the, Tariq, the kid had nothing to do with it, and the kid got in trouble, yet they used his meat, his pictures to gain all the thing, and then they got, they, fought, they fired the guy. You know, it, it, it's crazy how these big corporations get with it. And the best way to, the best way to get, a, to get back at them, and no one's gonna do it, but the best way to do it is to not, either not watch, or to strike and get the fan strike because let me tell you something fans not watch the game if everyone really got together and cared and just stopped watching for a little bit or just made it clear in social media that we're not going to take it you'll see how quickly mlb gets to, the one thing people will listen is you take away their green and they'll start listening you know what i mean but the reason why people are they're not going to listen is because people say it like, even myself, you know, I'm going to watch baseball regardless because I love baseball. It's the same thing in the NFL. People are going to watch NFL as much as the Kaepernick thing or whatever happens, people are going to watch it. But I love it, you know, so we're going to watch the game because, you know, you're tired, you love sports and everything. But something needs to happen when it comes to situations like this. It absolutely does. Anyway, let me know what you guys think.